uh, the next question is from a sister. I'm asking on some on behalf of my friend. After coming from work, I spend one hour with my wife. Then my sister calls me daily from India and we talk hours till late. Nothing important, but just uh, here and there chit chat. On the other end, my wife gets upset and complains. I do not spend enough time with her and with my toddler daughter. I think my presence is enough for them. Am I wrong about it? This is something that I cannot answer you. Now, out of experience, and all married people know that, usually the sky is the limit when it comes to spending time with the family. So if you spend half an hour with them per meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe half an hour in the afternoon, they would say, this is not enough. If you spend three good hours a day, giving them quality time, chit-chatting, joking, talking about religion, advising them, they would say, well, uh, you spend all the time speaking and preaching the deen. We need you to sit with us. If you take them out and they have fun and consume six hours maybe in, in this outing, Maybe then they would say, okay, that's good, but we need to see you at night. Don't, don't, don't forget. So out of experience, we can never get enough. The family can never get enough from us. Now, for me as a da'i, I'm a total different uh, uh, story because I think my wife gave up on me 35 years ago. I've been married for 37 years ago. So I think two years after Marriage, she said, Khalas, forget it. I'm, I'm, I'm married to, I'm a widow already because this guy is always on the leave. He's traveling now, alhamdulillah. Maybe this was an evil eye, COVID-19. I don't travel anymore. For three months now, I'm being suffocated. And all da'is are like me. I don't know what Mufti is doing. Everybody is, is not traveling. So whatever time we spend with our families, they demand more. And this is their God-given right. Achi, imagine and remember that your wife is sitting between four walls 24 hours, seven days a week. While you, when you think that, oh, I also have responsibilities, I go to work, I have to earn money, I have to pay for the rent, I have to care for the kids' schools, and all what she does is just sit home, relax, watches TV, uh, 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 answers um, WhatsApp messages, etc. She's not doing anything. Achi, it's not the other. It's not like this. If you manage to reflect on the lockdown that you had to spend in your home, you would appreciate. Said, "Wallahi, I don't know how women sit behind these or between these four walls for so long. I, I, I went crazy. Seriously, just after one or two days, I had to." fool the authorities and download apps saying that I'm jogging, that I'm shopping, that I'm breathing, that I'm swimming, that I have a medical emergency every single day just to leave. So we have to be fair. Now, the best way is the way of the Prophet ﷺ, which is balance. When it came to ibadah, he was, he was the, 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 the role model. He used to pray night prayer until his feet were swollen. One narration, he was embracing Aisha at bed and he said to her, Oh Aisha, let me go and pray to Allah. And she said to him, Oh Prophet of Allah, by Allah, I love you. But I love what you love as well, which is prayer. So she, she let him and he started to pray for four or five hours. Yet he managed, it, managed his time well. So after Fajr, he used to go and visit his companions, teach the ignorant, solve their problems until the her time. Then he goes back to his uh, uh, house to retire for a few moments and, and rest. And then after Asr, he visits all of his wives together at the same time, checking on them. And then he, if there is a need to go somewhere else to attend an invitation, he had the full package. Our problem is that we do not have barakah. 
So whenever someone says, Sheikh, I'd like to have you for dinner. Oh, I don't have time. Well, I have so many things on my plate. So someone says, okay, Sheikh, can you come to our masjid, give a lecture? Well, I have so much on my plate. When people send us messages or questions, I have so many questions to answer. We don't have barakah in our time. And this is why we put obstacles all the time and we feel protected behind these obstacles. So my wife says, come and sit with me. So, no, no, I have 150 questions I have to answer on my website. And then I have to answer a few questions on Twitter. And then I have a lecture to prepare. And then I have a dars in this country or that country through Zoom or through this. So I have so many things. So she says, okay, may Allah help you. So even if I'm doing what I'm doing, there still is time if I, may, I put my mind to it, but I don't want to. So my, my uh, um, uh, answer to the brother would be, Akhi, try to utilize your time. Alhamdulillah, now we have 4G. In some countries, I, last time I was in Kuwait, they had routers of 5G. So maybe uh, now it's much faster. You can invest a little bit of money. You're commuting from work to home, from home to work while doing groceries. This is what I do. I put on my air uh, uh, pods and I utilize my time while shopping. I spend maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes shopping. So what do I do? I spend an hour walking every day just to try to fight aging, which nobody can fight. But this is what the doctors say. What do I do? I put on my uh, 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 headsets and I have my mobile. I can call my relatives next of kin in Dahran, in Riyadh, in uh, uh, the States, in UK, and whatever. Salam alaikum, what's happening? I'm walking. I'm not doing anything progressive, but talking, connecting your next of kin, listening to lectures, benefiting from your time would definitely, when you manage your time, help you with your wife. So when you come home, I did all my chit chatting with my mother, with my sister, everything is fine. Now I'm totally free to do whatever my wife wants me to do. I can answer emails, I can check WhatsApp messages, but it won't be as tense as calling my mom and sister because whenever you do something with your family, Usually your spouse has these two horns coming, but you don't see them. She, she becomes aggressive. Oh, he's talking to my in-laws. They have humiliated me in the past. They have oppressed me in the past. They did this, they did that. When was that? It was 35 years ago, Sheikh, but I still remember it. <laughs> it will go with you to the grave. So this is how people are made of. So accept them with their faults and shortcomings but try to be a better manager and Allah knows best.